I just woke up and today I'm getting my hair cut for the first time. From like when I was really young, I always had a weird relationship with my hair just because I have 4C hair and it's like not hard to manage, it just takes some extra time. I never really had to because literally since I was five, I just always did braids in my hair. If my hair wasn't in braids, it was kind of in like those like, those twists, you know what I'm talking about. Like the, the little crown twists or whatever. So I never really was like taking care of my hair. Like I would never wear my hair out just because I never did. Like it wasn't meant to be worn out. It was always in like a little afro, like little puff thing. So I just never wore it out. It was too much work for my mom to do when she was like, working all the time didn't have time to do my hair before school she had time to make me food and then we hightailed it out of there you know so braids was just the easier option fast forward to the pandemic everyone everyone was shaving off all their hair some guys were doing it and i disagreed with those actions but you know live your truth some girls were doing it i loved every single one of them i don't i i don't know what that says about me but anyways um <laughs> I wanted to hop on that trend of like shaving off all your hair. However, I know I would cry. I'm not a big change girly and that's too much change, especially because I had been growing out my hair for um, like six months prior to that. I decided that I was gonna start growing out my hair and like really caring for it and learning how to do my hair. So I was like, this doesn't seem like the time to shave off all my hair just because there's a pandemic. Like, pff, let's be for real because this was the beginning of the pandemic too. So. In my head, I was going back to school in like two weeks. So it made no sense to shave off all of my hair. Um, two weeks ended up being like three years. <laughs> I also didn't think I had the face for shaving. Like I think that there's a specific type of person who can shave off all their hair and still look good. I don't think I have the face shape nor the head shape for that. I do think so now, but I just love my hair too much to like go all out and shave it all off. After I decided shaving my head wasn't the option, April, 2020, I just decided like, oh, I've been growing my hair for a while now. Let me cut off the dead ends with these scissors. These are not hair cutting scissors. These are like scissors that you give to like toddlers or something. I didn't go like trigger happy. I didn't just start like, I like took my time. I watched like three TikTok videos on how to cut my hair. Like I was like, eh, let me just incorporate all these little styles that they're doing and just like go for it. So I like just like started cutting my hair and I don't really know what dead ends are. I'm not like a hair specialist. I'm a specialist on my hair. So I was just like, these kind of seem like what they were explaining on TikTok was dead ends. So let me just cut it off. Hair got really short. Didn't really like it, but I was like, my hair is going to be healthier in the long run, even though I didn't believe that. I was like, what if cutting my hair just made it worse? Because these, again, not hair scissors. Did it anyways and started growing my hair again from the that point. Um and now we're here i booked this appointment i have never really done an american hairstylist ever my mom braids my hair chef's kiss but this fall went to a hairstylist did a protein treatment didn't really like the outcome they were supposed to be a curl specialist i'm not going to say their name because like obviously they specialize in curls just not my curls i have a tighter curl pattern i have low porosity hair and they didn't really know what to do with it and i could tell like i was sitting in the chair and i knew that they were questioning why the product wasn't taking why everything was happening like they were visit like i could see them i could hear them talking about it like they didn't know what they were doing with my hair and that's there's nothing wrong with that i've already paid and i like know going into these experiences that i might not get the result that everybody else gets because of the type of hair i do research quite a lot and i had dm them prior to me showing up being all like hey this is my hair texture i sent them pictures i was all like this is blah 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 like i gave them the whole rundown of how my hair works and they were all like no we definitely do cater to 4c hair blah 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 i know that like they didn't damage my hair by any means but like it just the treatment that they used on it just wasn't treatmenting you know i could have done a better job i'm finally editing this video and i kid you not i got a text yesterday i'll put it up on the screen um, I'll block out their name though. They literally sent me a text asking, like they sent it to all of their like previous customers asking if you wanted to be certified as a curl specialist in four days. And I let these women touch my hair. Again, not like bashing them. It's just, I am very protective of my hair. And that was the first time I had ever been in a salon in America before. So I was like, okay, great. During the pandemic, I had seen this other hair place really popular on tiktok 
but they were getting booked like mad crazy and I couldn't book them. So I finally booked them now and I'm going there. It's the Loft Studio um, and they're supposed to be curl specialists. I booked it so that I could get a little bit of a trim because when I did the, when I went to the hair salon back in fall, did not do a trim. They said that the person who cuts curly hair was on vacation. I was like, okay, bet. I'm getting a little trim, just a little bit. I don't want one of those traumatic like, oh, I got my hair cut once and now I never do it again. No, I don't want that. I literally don't want that. I know that's a possibility, but I don't want it. I want to love my hair after this little, this little endeavor, okay? Um, I'm gonna be really upset if it turns out bad. I'm not gonna lie with you. Um, cause I spent a lot of money. I'm not gonna say it right now, but I spent a lot of money on just this one hair appointment. Because of how famous they are on TikTok, I think they jack up their prices, which I'm okay with. Get your bag. I know, like, how the world works, you know? Like, I'm not gonna ever shame a black woman for trying to get her bag. However, if my hair turns out like shit, I might have to shame you. I might have to shame you. Do you guys see what's going on right now? Day two curls, okay? There's really not much going on here. Like, there's not a lot of gel. There's not, It wasn't a wash and go. No, this is day two curls. This is how they asked me to show up. They were all like, we need your hair in its natural state, natural rusting state. I was like, this is how I wear it. <laughs> but like, look at this. Oh my God. Like, I literally love it. Like, do do we see like the progress I have made on my own? It's called Black Girl Magic. Y'all cannot stand it. I'm just like versatile. Like, I I honestly commend myself from going, going through that phase of short hair. Because low key, like my hair was growing prior to that. It was just really unhealthy. But I cut, I cut all of that off. And I still styled my hair. I got high puffs going in that hair. There was no hair there. And I still got it in a ponytail. Like, you cannot say that's not versatility. I posted on Instagram with that hair. And it literally looked amazing every single fucking time. Why? Versatility. Y'all have never heard of it. But I got it. <laughs> Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, girl. Get, 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 get it, girl. Take her, take her to the flow. Show her, show her how you roll. Drop it, drop it, drop it low. Drop it, drop, drop, drop it. Okay. But no, seriously, cannot be losing this length. Like, I'm doing this for her. I'm getting the haircut for her because I know that trimming it and making sure the ends are healthy are going to help its longevity in the future. But I swear to God, I swear to God, if I lose this. If I lose this face shaping, because like before, I can never like, really like, it wouldn't droop down, you know, it wasn't long enough to cover the sides of my face, you know, frame my face. And as I've said before, my face was not meant to be bald. Like, I just don't have the face structure for that. I don't think so. But correct me if I'm wrong, but I really don't think I have a face structure to be bald. I would not look like any of these fine women on TikTok. Like, I, I would look like, I don't know, like a turd dropped from the sky. Like, it's just... It, it's not for me, okay? And now I got face framing qualities and y'all are gonna take it away from me. Do not, <laughs> do not. If I come back and I'm crying, uh, it'll cut straight to that clip of me crying. No, but I love my hair now. So if they get rid of it, uh, count your days, count your days. To give the hair a fighting chance when I get back, we decided to put on a cute little outfit, you know? A little, a little something, something. We got the tote filled with everything you could possibly imagine. Let's go get my hair cut. <laughs> and it was really like cute and aesthetic inside. Like it was giving like Instagram boutique. It was so sweet. It was so well decorated. Before we get into the hair, skin giving, eyelashes giving, lips giving. Um, I look amazing. Mm. Okay, now to the hair. <laughs> she washed my hair twice. We shampooed it twice, both with a clarifying shampoo. And instead of using conditioner after, we put the Innersense Hydrating Hair Mask on my hair for about 10, 15 minutes. And we let it sit there. That's what this video is. And after we did the hair mask, while my hair was still damp, she put products in it so that we could do a wash and go. So we raked that through my hair, clumped up all the curls, and then I sat underneath the hooded dryer for maybe like 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes. My hair does not dry easily. So I sat there for a long time. It was very hot underneath. I was boiling. I was sweltering. I almost died under there of heat stroke. But we made it out, and my hair was looking mm, scrum delicious. Please stop playing with me. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh my god. Like, did you know my hair could do this? I didn't know my hair could do this. Um, oh my god, I'll just give my, like, feedback when I get back and I don't 
look all gross like i'm gonna look presentable and about like but damn oh my god The before and after is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. I, like, from the second I stepped in, one, it was such a cute little boutique. I, like, I can't, like, I cannot stress enough how much I loved this hair appointment. Literally loved it. From the second I stepped in, it was this cute little boutique. Everyone was so friendly. Everyone was so nice. They had snacks. They had drinks. Just like such a wonderful vibe. And I sat down in the chair. My girl Joy. Oh my god. And we basically were just like talking. It felt like I had been there forever. Like. And basically we were like talking about my curl journey. And what we were going to do. Explained everything every step of the way. Gave me all the products that I needed. Like I was just like wow. And they didn't. And it wasn't even like they were trying to upsell brands or something. Like. I already have a lot of the products that they were saying, like, use this this way, blah, 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 blah. I literally love it. And I also trim not too bad. They evened out my bangs, so now they're not, like, coming <laughs> in front of my eyes. And I also took off some length in the back so that all of it's, like, a rounded shape. Literally, I love it so much. It looks so good. Like, I literally love everything about this. Like, mm. It was just a top tier experience and at no point did I feel like they didn't know what they were doing. Like I felt like I was in good hands. I felt like I was safe. Love that feeling. Love feeling safe. Love feeling secure, especially with my hair. And like even when she was talking about trimming, she was all like, if you don't want to take off length, we don't have to. I can just trim it again because we did a dry curly cut at the beginning of the appointment. And then also after we styled my hair we then shaped it so she was like i can just trim some more or we can actually like shape it and take off some length and i was like take off some length you know i what good is long hair if it doesn't look good you know what i'm saying like the back it was giving mullet it was giving mullet and bangs two combinations i never ever want to have ever again okay that was literally amazing i literally can't say enough about it like it was just so nice to have a place that knows how to care for my curls and not have to do it myself just like be pampered and have someone wash my hair and style it and Ooh.